previously on Video Fever. This is definitely the one. Earth. Before we take any action, we'll need to assess just how dangerous these video games really are. Brutal interrogation it is! You are presently in the mind probe chamber aboard the galactic starship Entesis. So we make them play every game ever, and if one of them isn't fun, we blow up their stupid planets. Maybe we'll just take this project off your hands and blow up the Earth for you. We're going to take over the planets with giant bugs. You get one more chance, but if you run into any trouble, we'll come back and take care of everything for you. Now we have to invade the Earth? We can barely handle two humans! Did you see the part where I narrowly saved us from total disaster? By committing us to a plan we have no way to execute? Yes. You're welcome. Where are we even going to get giant bugs? Do you have any idea how much that would cost? There has to be some way to fund an obviously bad idea, even if you have no idea what you're doing. We've all been there. You're trying to save the universe from a dangerous planet, but who wants to blow it up and deal with all that paperwork? Triggering a complete explosion of an Earth-sized body would require approximately 224 septillion megajoules of energy output. That's why we created Body Harvests, an entirely new way to wreck up the planets. I used to spend most of my time worrying about how to make bigger and bigger planetary destruction beams, and then one day it came to me. Bugs. By using bugs in a way that nobody's ever done before, we've perfected a formula for planetary invasion that's just insanely great. At first it was a challenge because bugs are so small. Traditionally, even the largest bugs are much smaller than a house. But we thought, who says bugs need to be so small? And that was when we invented giant bugs. And because bugs have the natural ability to fire laser beams, there's no additional armament costs. We have the plan. But we need your help to make Body Harvest a reality. So please. Please. Help us enslave the human race. Welcome to a whole new world. Welcome to Body Harvest. It's good. But like, really good. Wait, look at this. It says you could get 24% more money from investors if you have a working prototype. Ooh, let's do that. I can't help but notice, but there's still a giant hole in the floor. Yeah. Are we gonna do anything about it? Nah. Isn't that like a safety hazard? Nah. We'll just walk around it. I mean, shouldn't all the oxygen be sucked out of the room right now? You think? Hey, you're humans, right? Yes. So we're trying to invade your home planet with giant bugs. You're trying to do what now? After years of observing Earth video games, we've determined that the most likely threat to our invasion plan is the rise of a lone hero who will single-handedly defeat our entire army. We built a simulation of that scenario. We just need some real humans to try it out. That was a lot of exposition. What's going on now? Once you fail this simulation, then we'll be able to enslave your planet. And you'll definitely fail. So just relax and have fun with it. Am I supposed to use this? I'll just use this. All right, it's time to get serious. They're gonna conquer the Earth if we don't win this one. Easy or hero? The fate of the Earth hangs in the balance, so I'm thinking easy mode. I like the way you think.
He's incredible! Look at his futuristic armor! I don't know, it kind of looks like cheap cardboard armor to me. With this guy in our corner, I don't think we'll have any trouble with this simulation. Earth is really foggy! So the first great challenge in stopping this invasion is lowering this drawbridge. Obviously, the solution is to go into somebody's house and pull a giant lever in their living room? Of course it is. It seems so obvious now. They don't look that difficult to kill. They are no match for the power of easy mode. Do humans really collect big hearts to heal themselves? Not even a little bit. I guess their understanding of human culture has been pretty skewed by only studying video games. There were many heroes during the Great War, none braver than the Honorable Jonathan Mackenzie, first to approve the use of the tank. They really added some backstory to this thing. Does this count as Earth fanfiction? Wait, is that it? Did they include this cave just to introduce their original character? I can't even see. See if you can light one of these torches. It's a false torch. Secret passage. Of course. Machine gun, now we're talking. What's with all the barrels of water everywhere? Uh... They have stuff in them. Yeah, but what? Why? Is this what they think Earth is? They didn't even get that from video games. This is just... I don't even know what's going on anymore. We just need to figure out how to be as persuasive as possible with this pitch. Computer, show us what a good crowdfunding campaign looks like. Searching. Now loading the most successful crowdfunding campaign in history, created one year ago. Hello, this is Doc. Have you ever seen space fish and thought, it would be a good idea to turn them into killer robot fishoids? Of course, we all have. Whenever there's injustice in the galaxy, fishoids will be there. Whenever a child cries out in the night, fishoids will be there. With killer robot fishoids on the loose, the galaxy will never be the same. Be the same. Heroes of all the girls and boys, their skills are made of titanium alloy. Remember, it's by all of our crews to the robot fish. They fight and swim up your androids. Evil doers will be destroyed. Here they come, let's shout, ahoy! It's to the robot fish. I'm really getting sick of that bird. Don't worry about it. With any luck, the humans will fail the simulation, and then it's smooth sailing to the enslavement of all mankind. Dance, man, dance! This simulation is wonderfully easy. Um, I don't mean to interrupt, but what does that blinking bar mean? Oh, that's... I don't know what that is. It doesn't necessarily look like a good thing. See what's going on outside. Whoa! Okay. Maybe we should get back to it. Yeah, let's go ahead and get ourselves to that boss and finish this stage as quickly as we can. Does this happen a lot on Earth? No. I think the world ended. It's okay, though. The simulation saves your progress. You just have to load up your last save, and we'll do it a little bit faster before the world ends. Yes, you're right. Let's make this happen. I think winning might actually be impossible now. Hey humans, just checking in on your progress. Hey, you guys are, you guys are looking well. Have you failed miserably yet? No, not at all. We're actually doing really well. That's odd. Very odd. Maybe we should play this out a little longer, see what happens. Ugh, fine. We'll be back in one hour. You'd better have failed by then.
they're definitely going to figure out that we failed by the time they come back. What we need is a plan. You know how space works. What do you got? We could try to crash the ship into the Earth again. No. What else? Well, if we can get to the engine room, we might be able to sabotage the power core. That would shut down most of the ship's systems, and they'd need to retreat for repairs. Ooh, I like that. But what becomes of us if we're still on the ship when they leave? They probably shoot you into space or donate you to a petting zoo or something. I can't eat those little petting zoo pellets. I'm a hungry man, and I need a man-sized meal. We could always board the escape pod first and overload the core remotely. There's an escape pod? How are you just now telling us this? You never asked me about it. All you ever asked me for is new Nintendo Switch games. How do we get to it? The only way is to go through the ventilation system. And you're about four feet too tall to fit inside. That's too tall! Well, we tried. We might as well give up and crawl through the hole in the floor and die in space. Wait a minute. Say that again. Crawl through the hole? Die in space as failures? Yes! The hole! Clarissa, if you got to the escape pod yourself, could you fly it over here and pick us up at the hole that some handsome genius broke in the floor? I don't see why not! We have 55 minutes until they come back. Do I have time to stop for milkshakes? No! Okay, we'll get milkshakes after, but now it's time for adventure! Welcome to the ventilation ducts. Can you solve the puzzle? Ooh. Ah. Ooh. False torch found. Secret passage. I can't believe we finally get to go back to Earth. Yeah. What are you most excited about doing when we get back? Oh, first thing. First thing. Marathon Session Tremors the series. All 13 episodes, back to back. What are you most excited about? Mm, yeah. That's kind of a personal question. I'm not really comfortable answering Hey, what's in here? What? Oh. I don't think I even saw this part. What is that? Some kind of skeleton? <laughs> uh... Again, please. <laughs> what even is this? What did they think this was? <laughs> You were asking me something? What was your question again? It doesn't matter anymore. This door is locked. Is there a key somewhere? Not telling. Just water. You found the key. I never thought you'd check there. But can you resist the challenge of the skeleton? What is the challenge of the skeleton? You might as well give up now. Yo, check this out. Not bad. But check this out.
I stand corrected. <laughs> Five minutes! I gotta go! Ah, the escape pod. Unable to open door. Escape pod is currently occupied. <gasps> Escape pod launched in three, no, 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 two, no, no, wait, wait. one. Escape pod launched. So much for that plan. Two minutes. What now? Power core. Looks like they're going to that bed zoo after all. Has it been an hour? Have the humans failed the simulation yet? Hang on, hang on. We said we'd wait an hour and it's only been 58 minutes. But in exactly two minutes, we're going down there and examining those simulation results. Welcome to the Power Core. No outside food or drinks permitted. Please don't touch anything. Well, Here goes nothing! Failure. Ship systems going offline. Emergency reserve power only. The power core? We can't fix that here. What should we do? Run out of power then die? What? No. We just have to break orbit and head back to the dealership for repairs. I guess the invasion plan is pretty much over. <clears throat> Hello there! Couldn't help but notice that your Earth invasion force didn't work out. We think it would be best if we took over the Video Fever project. We have the paperwork ready to go, so you guys can head out for repairs, and we should have the Earth destroyed by 5 o'clock! <laughs> have a terrific day! Heroes of all the girls and boys, their kills are made of titanium. Alloy, remember, kids, by all of our boys, killer robot fishoids. They fight and swim, but their androids, evil doers, will get destroyed. Here they come, let's yell, a boy, it's killer robot fishoids. <sighs> you think? Clarissa's plan is going okay? Well, we haven't heard from her. Or the spaceman. It's probably going okay. What happened to my shoe? <laughs>